prayers are not answered is that people are praying outside the will of God you want a car now is it the will of God you want to marry marry that girl is it the will of God you want to marry that man is it the will of God first John chapter 5 verse 14 he said when we pray in line with his will this is the confidence we have that we will pray according to his will he hear it us so when you want answers to a prayer you must first search what is the will of God concerning this matter what is the will of God concerning my relocation of the church Matthew chapter 6 verse 10 the Bible says that kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is what is the will of God concerning conception we need to know the will of God before we embark on certain journeys you are praying for God to bless the journey for God to bless you as you go to the US have you asked God if that is his will most times he pray without first of all asking God what his will is and that's why you need the Holy Spirit first first Corinthians 2 verse 10 for the spirit searched all things yay the deep things of God in first Samuel chapter 30 if you read verse 6 it says, and David was greatly distressed and the people talked of stoning him now it's, it's bad enough the man was distressed you want to stone him despite how emotionally incapacitated he was in verse 8 and David inquired of the Lord shall I pursue shall I overtake he asked two questions God gave him three answers pursue overtake and without fail recover all someone will recover all someone will recover all in marriage you will recover all in business you recover all what is the will of God have you asked heaven concerning God's will over the step you are about to take a young a woman met me and said I should pray for a son who was living for America that his door should be open the boy's flight was in a couple of days and as I heard the boy's hand I heard the voice of the Lord he says destiny is not in America his destiny is in Onicha Onicha is in the east the eastern part of Nigeria so I stopped. I said, young man, you are not traveling. He said, why? I said, your destiny is not in America. Your destiny is in your nature. He stood up from his knees, looked at me, sized me. He said, sir, which your nature? You know, when it comes to inquiry from God, that is why when it comes to inquiry from God, I've seen some very outrageous things. People will come to you with two names of people they want to marry. They already have in mind what they want to. They need endorsement, not confirmation. Papa. Papa the Papa. Between Mike and James, who do I choose? James. God forbid, God forbid, God forbid. You seen that too? They want endorsement. Not the will of God. And most people have ended up in pain. I can tell you, a young man, <laughs> he was praying and the Lord gave a confirmation who he should marry. So I told him, he started laughing. He said, Papa, you didn't understand. He brought the names again. I said, so you marry. He started laughing. Because the person I was telling him to marry had tuberculosis and she was dry. He said, Papa, you did hear, you did hear well. Oh. This one, you did hear well, Papa. At all. That one? He said, No. And I said, That's what God has said. People put pressure on him. Prayed, was angry. When they go out on a date, he will frown. Now, do you want this? Take your own now. Take your own. Don't worry about me take your own take your own the lady will cry you don't want to see their wedding photograph 
he wasn't smiling it's like somebody like a lamb led to the slaughter and opened not his mouth he's a pastor today the woman holds that church healed of tb when he's preaching people are sleeping if they announce that she'll be preaching the church is packed and so god sees the end from the beginning you need to inquire what is the will of god when i wanted to buy a car i said lord i need a car 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 the lord said which one and i said homer i bought a homer a b 2424 cd a b 2424 cd that was my car number i can never forget i was in that homer and i was greeting everybody even those who were not greeting me She has the first pastor in my state to buy Homer. I was greeting. Two days after that, I had the voice of God. Do you want to die? Because I'll wake up 1 a.m. and sit in the car. <laughs> my prayer life has been affected. I'll just go and sit in the car. It's wonderful. <laughs> Is this a car? This is a machine my pastor are laughing they remember the car <laughs> i was just there i mean sometimes i'll just drive and i'll come down middle of the road i'll just start and look at the car it was becoming an obsession my wife said we are, we are, let's walk out i said let's use the car ah uh -uh, we are just going to pick something i said no let's use the car you know this car <laughs> The Lord said to me, this is not my will, because you are, you are becoming mad. <laughs> my wife will ask me, what the heck? Where are you coming from? I said, I want to check the car. My husband, are you okay? I said, I'm fine. One day I was praying and the Lord said to me, do you love me? I said, yes. Release that car now. For your sanity. Now. I gave it to a pastor. I was crying. And now to the pastor, I said, the Lord told me to give you this car. I say, Amen. I said, I said, I said, Pastor, you have to pray. If God really wants you to take it, I said, because this car has cost me pains. Listen, that you can pay for it, still pray about it. Even if you can pay for it still pray even if you can afford that apartment you are moving from one to another sir areas and locations are dedicated to altars you are moving from one part of coventry to another part from one part of oxford from one part of leeds to another part you are moving from one location to another and i said it the last time i came that every street in london has a witch location as some altar so you can leave a place and move to another location and the powers of the air that control that location that is why you must inquire you must inquire that was the duty of the priest whenever the king is going on a venture he will call the priest say inquire but today too many mistakes and damages because people are emotional people are just moving like without direction sir the last mistake you made was because you didn't go on a massive inquiry praying to ask god drop my emotions don't i tell i said can i tell you what you want to hear or what god is saying play with you I got married a girl came from the assemblies of god i used to preach a lot for assemblies of god a lot those days a lot district level national level and the girl came and said she wants to get married i said no problem i stopped i said you won't marry him he said why i said if you get married the marriage will last three months and three weeks and you will die she said, god forbid i reject it i cancel it it cannot happen oh lord you said in your word we shall not die we shall leave you so she left, met other prophets. Say, oh, no. There's this oil we'll give you. We cancel. What's supposed to say? Even if he saw it, can't he cancel it? She said, okay, I'm to And she came. They were dressed, what the same thing. 
a bottle of wine. He said, Ah, Papa, we came to greet you. Papa, the wedding. Papa, if you see the wedding, you will know that was the will of God. Papa, the uh, men of God confirmed it. To me, that was a mockery. So that's a mockery. I said, Really? Say yes, sir. Sir, I bless God I didn't miss it. If I the guy wouldn't come down, he stayed in the car because why are you going to the house of a prophet who doesn't like me? So he stayed back in the car. I said, You go, I'm not, I'm not going to see him. So I said, Where is he? He said, He's downstairs. You know, these men, they are angry. I told him what you said. So my wife saw that I was feeling bad. She said, Calm down. I know you feel, how you feel. I said, Give me the wine. She gave me. I kept it. I prayed with her. I said, God bless you. God keep you. He said, Amen. But Papa, thank God I didn't miss this dinner. They left. Three months. He walks offshore. In Nigeria, there are people that walk offshore. They walk offshore. He walks offshore. Three months, three weeks, he sat down. A palm tree uprooted from the ground fell on him. Skull broken. Died on the spot. Three days after that, that's how she came. Papa, what you said? I said, hey, hey. There are pastors who told you, please, please go there. So I, walk, I said that. I walked into the room. And my wife is the director of Julius Beggar. <laughs> she came and said, you know, my husband, when you beat a child with one hand, I said, hey, hey, hey. There are, don't give me any load. There are pastors who told her to go ahead. So let her go there. She was already pregnant. Now she came because the family we are accusing that she killed them, and so she came. Cover me, we pray. Cover me, cover me, Papa. They are after me. They are after you, Papa. Check now. I say no. I don't see things that are right. Oh, according to you. So why will why will it now be clear when the first time she could have saved herself drama, emotion? So you must every day pray lord is this your will sometimes there can be a cleaning job and a banking job and the will of god is the cleaning job oh it doesn't sound nice right there's a banking job and there's a god saying no this is not my will for you many of us are praying outside the will of god the bible says, what we ask in line with his word he yelled at us he yelled at us psalm 27 verse 11 teach me your way psalm 86 11 teach me your way when you follow god's way and god's will in fact is either god's way or god's will god's way or god's will ask jonah <laughs> God's way or God's will? Nineveh will. So many of us are outside the will of God. Someone may be about to get married and you're having a check in your spirit. Somehow, something tells you you're not doing the right thing, but somehow you've known this person for too long. Sir, it's better you walk away and feel the pain or go in and close to that am i communicating here is either you walk you walk out and feel the pain or get close so we need to pray what i'm telling you today is we are christians for victims in life christians fall in pains any pain you are going through today you got the signals years ago But you are trying to pray it off. Trying to pray it off. 